Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am your total woman coach. And to be a total woman, you should be working on four different things every day, which is your fitness and nutrition, your faith, your family, and your finances. And in today's video, we're going to tap into our faith today. And I'm gonna just jump right into it. I am up, it's, I got up at four, it's about, five o'clock now so I've done my Bible reading and prayer time and I just wanted to invite you guys into it and explain to you what I was able to gain from today's scripture so today is November 27th um, on a Monday and the, the scripture for today is first Peter 4 10 and I'm reading out of the NIV version and the scripture reads each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. And when I read a scripture, I literally like to look at it either in a phrase or sometimes just within one word. And within this scripture, a phrase and a word jumped out to me. Each of you should use whatever gift you have. So that, that dawned on me, I'm like, okay, so that means I have more than one gift. I just don't have the ability to do one thing. So if you find yourself like overwhelmed, like I have, like I have several gifts and I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to use? Like, what do you want me, which gift do you want me to use? And in this scripture is directing me to, use whatever gift you have to serve others not to make money not to be popular not to do it for likes or views on social media but to simply serve others now it's a very thin line between those things because those things our gifts and talents can generate us money but as far as being a Christian in our heart posture, we should be doing these things to serve others and the money will come. The likes, the views, the subscribers, the followers will come. So sometimes with even in myself, I can take these things and put them out of order. Not that I'm a good speaker or a good listener and then I should make money from that, no, I'm a good speaker and I'm a good listener because to serve others. And then God will see, okay, you're being obedient. You will get money. You'll get followers. You'll get, he knows we have to survive. He does not want us out here broke. That's why sometimes it amazes me when people get upset when pastors have a lot of money or they have jets or they have cars. Now you do have people that abuse this, the, these blessings that they receive and they're always denounced or they're always revealed. But sometimes people are just working in their gift and they're serving others and then God will elevate them. So that was really, really good to just help me and remind me to say that I have gifts I can use whichever one I want to serve others. And that in itself, as a faithful steward, man, we are locked in, we are loaded, we are locked in with God, we are faithful, we are, we believe in what his vision, what he's given us in our vision and place in our heart. So as faithful stewards of God's grace, and I had to kind of pause at grace because my mom always reminds us um, the difference between grace and mercy. So grace is a undeserved favor. And grace is given to everyone. Sometimes we see people and we're like, we, I know they live in wrong. Why are they blessed? Because they are given grace. God give grace to the non-believers as well. So it says, as faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. So we're going to take whatever gift we have. We, we get multiple. 
And if you don't know what that gift is, this is a great time to, this is a, this is a number one reason to get into your word and to serve others in just a, a form that you, that makes you happy without receiving anything in return and your gifts will start to announce itself because it'll be something that you just love to do regardless if you got paid for it or not but we want to take those gifts be stewards of god's grace and in various favor in various forms so i love to coach i love to encourage and motivate and i can do that one-on-one and in a session, I could do that in person. I could do that with a stranger. I could do that like I'm doing right now on YouTube. I can do it in writing, um, video form. You know, it's so many ways that I can take one talent and do it in various forms. And that is what God is asking us to do to take those talents. If you do hair, do your course do your children hair you have people who do hair and kids heads is is looking a mess so start at home like start revealing your gifts to yourself or others at home and maybe you'll volunteer and do a co-worker's hair or you know somebody may have a wedding come up and you want to do their hair and you don't have to necessarily do it for free but your heart posture is let me do this hairstyle not just to get the money but to make this woman feel beautiful on her special day. And then money is just part of the process. So we take those gifts and we do them in various forms. So that is what God is directing us. And then just reading throughout the the Bible app, we go through a daily devotion. So as I'm reading through this daily devotion, this piece of devotion sticks out to me that I think that is so important. Another place God gives us in our life, gives us in our life experiences. All of us have unique life experiences that give us the knowledge to help others. So if you don't know what your gift is, sometimes it can be revealed to us in our life experiences. I didn't know I had a passion for fitness and nutrition until I went through a bad life experience in college that led me to gaining 30 pounds in three months. I had never been a, a oversized person. Um, I think in high school and the beginning of college, I was between 115 and 125. And by the end of all of that traumatic incident that happened to me in college, I think I went from like 125 to probably like 155, 160 within three months from binge eating, emotional eating, um, and just now I'm tapping into gluttony. So all of that, I have learned how to overcome that and be delivered from gluttony and god says and in this devotion it brings out in another place god gives us in our life experiences and that don't sound like a gift you know what i'm saying me going through something that really don't sound like a gift but i wouldn't be right here today teaching others about weight loss and nutrition and I'm still growing and learning myself, but this could potentially put me on, take me to places and put me on platforms that I've never, ever seen before if I'm consistent and obedient and continue to serve. So you, you have gifts. We want to use them in various ways. And he teaches us about those gifts and how to use those gifts through life experience. And through this devotion, it asks a really, really good question. What gifts or talents have God given you? And I've made a list here, speaking to others, writing, listening, leading and guiding, being a parent, knowing the body, understanding my, my body, and taking pictures. Believe it or not, I love taking pictures. If I could take scenic pictures of the rain of 
of leaves of children playing i like pictures where people don't really know that they're being taken i love those pictures um and that's just another talent that i have that i don't tap into much unless i'm in the moment or in the mood but that is that that was something that brought back to my attention that i do have an eye for um picture taking so i hope this uh daily scripture this just daily devotion this word for you helps you and leads you and guides you into the direction of opening yourself up to your gifts or if you know your gifts and you're not using them to serve others let's get started start today i do i always ask god to push me and encourage me and inspire me every day when i go on my job to serve others yes i'm at work making money but not everybody have that that blessing or that luxury to be able to go to work and make money so while i'm there let me be a light and let me serve others i hope this video was helpful if you would like to know more about my faith or just growing faith uh, as a believer make sure you subscribe Make sure you like this video so this video can reach out to multiple other women in the world because we are becoming total women to better ourselves, to better our families, and to serve others. And I will see you guys in the next video.